today we are going to Disney Springs to watch the new Little Mermaid movie and I'm really excited. I kind of dressed up for it but I've got my purple top and matching headband and then I put these green shorts on so I don't know if this would match like every day but I think today it's okay. And then after the movie we want to go to Chicken Guy because it's one of our favorite places to eat at Disney Springs and then just kind of have a walk around and we also get 30% off merch. So, hide my wallet, Curtis. Oh no! Let's go and watch the movie. I haven't watched any spoilers for the movie. I've only seen the trailer and I haven't listened to any of the songs because I'm really excited to see it. But we're almost there. How can there be spoilers for a movie that came has out? already came out. <laughs> I just don't want to see anything like any costumes or any songs. Oh. Like I just want to be surprised. I'm editing this back and my hair looks red in this. Like, go off Little Mermaid, it made my hair red. Okay, does I might dye my hair red, it looks kind of cute. We just got to Disney Springs and look at this reminder on my phone. It says, turn on Do Not Disturb until the end of the movie. I think that is really cool. They have a Disney 100 sign. So you don't have to go to the box to get your picture taken with the 100 sign. And I think this to the left is like the dining theater. So I think we have to go around. But it is so nice here today. This bit never feels busy. So this isn't a good judge of whether it's busy or not. But when you're here on a hot day in August, this looks perfect to dive into. I'd probably even go in there right now. I think the movie starts like right now. Well, it starts at 11, but we want to miss all of the ads because I don't care. You know every time I see a press penny machine, I'm gonna go up to it. Let's see what this one has. I've never seen a... Uh, Disney Springs. Sleepy. What is it? Um, Dopey. Dopey. This movie theater is the closest one to us, but that's so much fun because look at all the cute stuff they have for the little mermaid. This blue carpet and pictures of them. I want to get a picture before we go in. Oh, and there's the movie poster. Alright, we are walking to Theater 12. Oh, look how cute that is. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I don't know if there's going to be that many people in here. was so good and I felt like they were really true to the story and I cried twice. Yeah, I cried twice. It I was thought it was so really good. good, to be honest. And um, Sebastian was so funny, so I loved his character. All of it was just amazing. We'll have to give, it has to digest and we'll have a more in-depth review. But we're really hungry. What time is it? It's like uh, 1.30. So we are ready yeah, to eat. Are you full? I am stuck. It was so good. We have so much to review, so I'm gonna find a nice place to sit and tell you about it. Well, the movie was great. Did I already talk about the movie? I mean, I talked about it a lot, but it was so good. They were really true to the story. I thought that they didn't like stray away from The Little Mermaid. Like there weren't bits that were put in and we were like, what the heck, that doesn't make any sense. Or like that wasn't in the original movie. 
so that was good. Sebastian was so funny. Yeah, he was really funny. And he had a lot of jokes. So that was great. And I already want to see it again. I actually thought they did a good job keeping it, yeah, like Sophie said, true to the story, but also making it kind of fresh and, I don't know, it's good. It's funny because in this clip, the only thing the kids and I was focused on was Sebastian because he did a great job. But I wanted to say that I thought everyone did an amazing job and Hallie was the best Ariel and even, I don't know who plays Prince Eric, but he did a great job. Cause I know some people didn't really think he was fit for it, but I think that everyone was amazing. And I want to go and see it again and again and again. And now I can listen to the soundtrack as many times as I want cause I've seen the movie. And uh, there's a dress that I bought that kind of looks like the blue dress that Ariel wears in the film. And so I'm just making it my whole personality now, but I love it. It was so good. And Chicken Guy was really good. Always good. Chicken Guy was so no good. Complaints. I tried the pickle chips for the first time and they were really spicy. So. Guy Fieri hit us up. But there were pictures of just him saying. with like live chickens and I thought that was kind of weird. The, I don't know. It's a little sadistic. It's just weird. It's but like, the food was really good. I had chicken nuggets. You could choose any sauces that you want. It's just $50 for each sauce. I'm and sorry, my favorite is the Chipotle Ranch. You said $50 per sauce. 50 cents. Oh my gosh, it's $50 <laughs> for each sauce. Yeah, like, 50 cents. And my favorite was the Chipotle Ranch. Which one is your favorite? Oh, uh, Chipotle Ranch, definitely. Now we're gonna go to Zara. Today was an 80% chance of rain. But look how nice it is. Oh well, yeah, we could. Yeah. It's kind of like um, the Lizzie McGuire movie. This lighting is so bad, but here is the first shirt that I tried on. It's just like a baggy gray shirt. It's comfy to wear. I like it. It's soft. Does not go with this, but you know. I don't know about these jeans. Looking on the camera, they don't look as good. They're so comfy, but I don't know. Is it the color? Is it the fit? I just try to tuck this in, but I don't know. This outfit is so ugly, and I'm so happy I didn't buy it, and that it's on the shelf at Zara. I just had to say that. Okay, it just wanted me to try this dress on, and it's hideous. I'm trying to make this color work for me. It just doesn't work, does it? <laughs> no, it's not cute. We tried. Well, Zara was a bust, but it's okay because it was kind of expensive, so that's good, right? We saved money. <laughs> Now we're just walking around Disney Springs. It's so blue, it makes you want to jump right in. Yeah. Also, it kind of has that like mini golf water quality. Yeah. I don't think we're going to go into the Disney part of Disney Springs today because that's where most of the crowd is. So I think that we're going to go home unless we see any more shopping opportunities. It's not that busy over here. That's why we want to stay in this section. And we're going to go into Francesca's, which is one of my favorites. So obsessed with this dress i'm so happy i got it this dress isn't usually something i go for because it's a little frilly with like the sleeves i think i was definitely influenced by ariel wearing her blue dress this outfit was cute separately not together so i just got the top i didn't get the shorts because i don't really have much that would match them because they're like an off-white so i skipped out on those but i got the top I can't see anything, but I got some stuff from Francesca. Yeah. She looks great. Oh, I can't see. Hold on. I got a cute dress and a top, and I feel like the blue dress kind of looks like Ariel's in the movie. So now it's my whole personality, and I can't wait. She's so cute. It's now 3.30, I think, and we're on our way home. Look at how nice it is today. Great pool day. But also a nice day to stay inside and watch a movie. <laughs> it is 3.30 and the line for Chicken Guy is still going strong. But we are going home. Hey. Well, we had a great time at Disney Springs. Me especially because I got a cute dress. We love the movie, love the food, love the new dress. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.